Good morning and welcome to Be Well Philly Fest presented by Independence Blue Cross. My name is Lisa O'Rear. I am an alignment-based yoga teacher here in Philadelphia. I'm so grateful to have been asked to participate in this week's events. And I'm beyond grateful that you have decided to practice not only with me this morning, but with each other. So when you're ready, please feel free to grab whatever props that you need for yoga practice, whether that's blocks, a strap, a blanket, whatever you normally use, make sure you have it nearby. And then grab your water, your coffee, your tea, whatever you are enjoying today. And we'll meet, our, we'll meet each other on the mat. So as you come to your yoga mat, I invite you to lie down. As you lie down, take up as much space as you need. Stretch yourself out in a way that feels comfortable. And soften and close the eyes. With the eyes closed, begin to look for the breath. Take this opportunity to notice how you feel, what you feel, where you feel it. The physical practice of yoga gives us the opportunity to cultivate a deeper relationship with ourselves. The relationship that you have with yourself is the most intimate relationship you will ever have. And so as we move together for the next 60 minutes or so, my invitation to you is that you would let the physical practice tap you in to how you feel, what you feel and where you feel it. Receive a deeper breath in, back and down. Release a longer breath up and out. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Take a hold of either the backs of the thighs or the shins. Begin to rock a bit from side to side. And in your own time, in whatever way makes most sense for you, rock yourself up. Come over onto hands and knees. We'll set up together in a tabletop. <clears throat> Place whatever props that you have on either side of your mat to see that you have plenty of space to move. Wrist underneath shoulders, index fingers, outer shoulder distance apart and more parallel to one another. Tuck your toes under, set the knees more inner hip distance apart and then underneath the hip. Spread the fingers wide, press the finger pads into the earth. Inhale for cow pose, belly moves towards the ground. Draw the shoulder blades more flat onto the upper back as you lift the gaze and the sitting bones. Exhale for cat, press the earth away. Feel the shoulder blades as they pull apart, the head and the tailbone are heavy. Inhale, belly moves towards the earth. Exhale, shoulder blades pull apart. So continue to move like this at your own pace to the rhythm of your breath. If there's any other movement you wish to add in this morning, please do so.
On your next inhalation, come back to stillness. And on the exhale, walk your knees back a few inches. So come into this longer table. As you walk your knees back, just notice if your shoulders shifted back, shift those shoulders back over the wrist. As you press your hands down, energetically pull your hands towards each other. Keeping that, push the hands down again, and now forward, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Bend and straighten each leg. In your own time, settle into stillness. Look back at your feet. See that your feet are frontal hip bone distance apart. The toes point straight ahead. Place a little bend in both knees. Inhale to pull the hands towards each other, pull the feet towards each other. So feel the arms and the legs engage. Keeping that. Exhale, push the hands down and forward. Keep that bend in the knees and lift the hips up and back. Soften the eyes and the features of the face. Inhale, reach right leg straight up and back. Exhale, step right foot between the hands. Place the left knee on the ground. Keep the left toes tucked. Inhale, reach arms forward and up. Exhale, Kneeling crescent. Inhale to pull the right foot and the left knee towards each other. Hug the upper inner thighs to the midline. And keeping that, exhale, push down through the leg. So push into the four corners of that right foot. The space above the left kneecap. As you lift that right front hip bone up away from the top of the right thigh. Keeping that bend a little deeper into the right knee. Breathe in as you push down through the legs, lift the ribs up away from the hips and now stretch through the fingertips. Exhale, touch the ground, step it back to downward facing dog. Notice if there's a difference from side to side. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step left foot between the hands. Right knee to the ground, keep the right toes tucked. Inhale, arms reach forward and up, kneeling crescent. Inhale to pull left foot and right knee towards each other. Hug the upper inner thighs to the midline. Keeping that on the exhalation, push down into the four corners of the left foot, the space above that right kneecap. As you lift that left front hip bone up away from the top of the left thigh, keeping that bend a little deeper into the left knee. Inhale to push down through the legs, lift up out of the hips, stretch through the fingertips. Exhale, touch the earth, step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale all the way down to the ground. Untuck the toes, slide the hands back, wrist underneath the elbows. Take the hands so that the index fingers are outer shoulder distance apart. And as you press the tops of the feet down, press the inner edges of the hands down, and now claw the fingertips into the earth. Inhale, heart lifts forward and up, cobra pose. As you reach back through your legs, press down through the arms to lift the chest. And now take the inner armpits back, shoulder blades more flat onto the upper back, take the sides of the throat back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Exhale, step right foot between the hands, right ankle underneath the right knee. Inhale, arms reach up, crescent lunge. And as you exhale, feel the support beneath you. 
Inhale, pull the feet towards each other. Hug the upper inner thighs to the midline. Keeping that on the exhalation, push down through the legs. Lift the right front hip bone up away from the top of the right thigh. And now lift the back of the left thigh towards the sky as you bend into that right leg. Push down through the legs. Lift the ribs up away from the hips. Stretch through the fingertips. And at the bottom of your next exhalation, take a step forward, one-legged head off from the left knee, draws in towards the chest. Take the top of the right thigh bone back in space. So feel that right hip crease deepen. And as you push down through the standing leg, cross left ankle over top of right thigh, flex the left foot, and hug ankle into thigh, thigh into ankle. Keeping that bend the right knee, send the hips back and down, standing pigeon, standing figure four. Lift the outer left hip up and widen the outer left knee to the left. Keeping that push down through the standing leg, lift the right front hip bone up and send the hips back an inch and down an inch. Big breath in, lift your inner armpits towards your ears, side body. Feel that space, it gets long. And on the exhalation, take the inner armpits back, stretch the thumbs back. Inhale, stand tall, push the right leg straight, draw the left knee back and towards the chest. Exhale, place the left foot down. See that your feet are frontal, hip bone distance apart, toes and kneecaps point straight ahead. Right hand catches left wrist. As you push down through your legs, lift the ribs up away from the hips, lift the inner armpits towards the ears, keeping that reach up and over to the right. Front hip bones, inner armpits point straight ahead. Breathe as you inhale, lift the inner armpits. Feel the side body get long. As you breathe out, ribs back, inner armpits back, sides of the throat back. Inhale, come back to center, release the wrist. Exhale, stretch the arms forward and down, touch the earth or prop. Notice where the weight is in the feet. Even it out as best you can, lift and spread the toes. Inhale, bend the knees, send the hips back and down, reach the arms forward and up. And exhale, chair pose. On the inhale, pull the feet towards each other, upper inner thighs, tone. Keeping that on the exhalation, push down through the legs, lift both front hip bones up. Lengthen the spine, and as you lift your heart forward and up, send the hips back an inch and down an inch. Inhale, stand tall, push the legs straight. Exhale, reach the arms forward and down, touch the earth, step your left foot to the back of your mat. Pivot your left foot to the ground and pause. So right ankle underneath the right knee. Back toes turn a bit more in. Climb right forearm to right thigh. Extend the left arm long, left ear. Sorry, left arm in line with left ear. Extended side angle. On the inhale, pull the feet towards each other. Take the top of the left thigh bone back. Deepen that left hip crease. Keeping that on the exhalation, push down through the legs, push down and forward into that right thigh. And now lift the right front hip bone up. Keeping that bend a little deeper into the right knee. And as you bend the right knee, ground the four corners of the right foot and widen the inner right knee to the right. Notice what you feel, where you feel it. Inhale to lift your shoulders in line with the base of your neck. And on the exhale, ribs back. Inner armpits back, stretch the left thumb back. Inhale, unwind, pivot your left heel up. Exhale, step it back to downward facing dog. Come back to the breath. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step left foot between the hands inhale arms reach up exhale crescent lunge 
Inhale to pull your feet towards each other. Hug the inner thighs to the midline. And keeping that, exhale, push down through the legs. Lift the left front hip bone up. And now lift the back of the right thigh up as you bend a bit more into that left leg. Root down through your strong legs. Lift your ribs up away from your hips. Lift your inner armpits towards your ears. Stretch through the fingertips. Exhale, step forward. One leg gets hit off in the right knee. Draws in towards the chest. Left toes and left kneecap point straight ahead. Take the top of the left thigh bone back in space. So deepen that left hip crease. And now push down through the standing leg as you cross right ankle over top of left thigh, flex the right foot. Hug ankle into thigh, thigh into ankle. Keeping that, bend the left knee, send the hip straight back and down, standing pigeon. Lift the outer left hip up and, or excuse me, outer right hip up and widen the outer right knee to the right, keeping that. Push down through the left leg. Lift the left front hip bone up and now lengthen the spine. And as you lift your chest, your heart forward enough, send the hips back and down. Inhale, stand tall. Push the left leg straight. Draw the right knee back and towards the chest. Exhale, place the right foot down, feet frontal hip bone distance apart, toes and kneecaps straight ahead, left hand, right wrist. Inhale to push down through the legs, lift the ribs up, lift the inner armpits up. Exhale up and over to the left. Notice that there's a difference from side to side. Front hip bones and her armpits point straight ahead. And root, as you root down through the legs, Lift the inner armpits up, keeping that. Move your ribs back, inner armpits back, sides of the throat back. Inhale, return to center, release the wrist. Exhale, arms forward and down, touch the earth. Forward fold. Notice where the weight is in the feet. Ground evenly, lift your toes, feel that engagement. Inhale, bend the knees, send the hips back and down, arms forward and up, chair pose. Lift and spread your toes. And on the inhale, pull the feet towards each other. And keeping that on the exhalation, push down through the legs, lift both front hip bones up and lengthen the spine. And as you lift your heart forward and up, hips back an inch and down an inch. Inhale, stand tall, legs straight. Exhale, arms forward and down, touch the earth, step the right foot to the back of the mat. So you're in a low lunge. Pivot your right foot to the earth. So left ankle underneath the left knee, right toes turn a bit more in. Keeping that left forearm to left side, right arm in line with right ear, extended side angle. On the inhale, pull the feet towards each other, take the top of the right thigh bone back in space, deepening that right hip crease. Keeping that on the exhalation, push down through the legs, push down and forward into that left thigh to lift the left front hip bone up. Keeping that ground the four corners of your left foot and widen the inner left knee to the left as you bend a little more into that left leg. One more big breath in, lift your shoulders in line with the base of your neck. Exhale, ribs back, inner armpits back, stretch the right thumb back. Inhale slowly, unwind, hands touch the earth, right heel up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Claw your fingertips into the earth. Inhale to plank. Legs stay strong, hips in line with the shoulders. Exhale, bend the elbows wide, heart forward and down. Chaturanga. Cobra, cobra dog or up dog. Press the inner edges of the hands down as you claw your fingertips into the earth. Take the inner armpits back, sides of the throat back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step right foot between the hands. 
right hand to the inside of the right foot, pivot to the left for a wide angle fold. See that the outer blades of the feet are more parallel to the short sides of the mat. Little bend in the knee, and now lift the toes. Ground evenly into the four corners of each foot, and then soften the toes towards the earth. Interlace the hands behind the back, right thumb on top. Bend the elbows. Let the interlaced hands come a bit more to rest on the low back. And now let the shoulders come more in line with the base of the neck. So the shoulders move in the direction of the ground. Keeping that energetically pull your hands apart and draw the shoulder blades together. Keeping that lift the hands away from the low back and begin to reach the knuckles a bit more towards the sky or even overhead. Just mindful to keep the elbows unlocked and the shoulder blades pulling towards the spine. One more big breath and pull the feet to the midline. Feel the upper inner thighs tone. And on the exhale, exhale, push down through the legs. Lift both front hip bones up, lengthen the spine. And as you fold, heart continues to move forward and up. Inhale to touch the ground. Exhale, walk to the right, right toes forward, left heel turns up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step left foot between the hands. Left hand to the inside of the left foot, pivot to the right, wide angle fold, second side. Check in with the feet, outer blades parallel to the short sides of the mat. Notice where the weight is in the feet, lift the toes. Keep the arches of the feet lifted and then soften the toes back down towards the ground. Interlace hands behind the back, left thumb on top, bend the elbows, bind the hands, they come to rest on the low back. Shoulders in line with the base of the neck and now energetically pull the hands apart as you draw the shoulder blades together, keeping that reach the knuckle towards the sky or maybe overhead. Wherever you are, keep those shoulder blades more flat onto the upper back and elbows unlocked. Big breath and pull the feet towards each other. Breath out, push down through the legs. Lift those front hip bones up, lengthen the spine. And as you fold, heart forward and up. Inhale, touch the earth. Exhale, walk to the left, turn the left toes forward, lift the right heel. Step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra, cobra dog or up dog. Reach back through the legs, push down through the arms to lift up through the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come back to the breath. Notice as we've shifted the energy around in the body. Notice any shifts, any changes. Inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Exhale, step right foot between the hands. Right ankle comes underneath the right knee. Inhale, arms reach up, crescent lunge. And pause on the exhale. Take a breath and pull the feet towards each other. Hug the inner thighs to the midline. And keeping that exhale, push down through the legs, lift the right front hip bone up, lift the back of the left thigh up, and now bend a little deeper into that right knee. As you push down through the legs, lift up out of the hips, inner armpits towards the ears, stretch through the fingertips. Exhale, big step forward, one-legged Tadasana. Bring your hands to your hips. Take the top of the right thigh bone back in space. So as you deepen that right hip crease, 
outer right hip comes in line with outer right ankle. Keeping that, you're gonna bring the sole of your left foot either to your right shin or the right inner thigh. Keep the hands on the hips. See that both front hip bones point straight ahead. And now hug right thigh, le uh, right shin into the sole of left foot and then left foot back into either the inner thigh or the shin. Keeping that push down through the standing leg, lengthen the spine, lift the inner armpits up and now reach the arms forward and up. Tree pose. Breathe. Take a moment to notice what you feel and where you feel it. And as you find this moment of stillness, notice what continues to move. On your next inhalation, so your arms are gonna stay overhead. Remove the sole of the left foot from the thigh or the inner thigh or the shin and rotate that left knee forward. One legged Tadasana, take a full breath in. And on the exhale, step it back to crescent lunge. Take your time. Feel the earth beneath you. Lift the back of the left thigh up. Tack the outer right hip back. Keeping that bend of the right knee a little deeper. One more inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, touch the earth. Step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step left foot between the hands. Left ankle underneath the left knee. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, crescent lunge. Inhale, pull your feet towards each other. Hug your inner thighs to the midline. Keeping that, exhale to push down through the legs. Lift that left front hip bone up. Now lift the back of the right thigh up and bend a bit more into the left knee. Keep those legs strong. As you push down through the legs, lift the ribs up. Lift the inner armpits up, stretch through the fingertips. Exhale, step forward, one-legged Tadasana, right knee draws in towards the chest. And then bring the hands to the hips. Take the top of the left thigh bone back, deepening that left hip crease, outer left hip in line with outer left ankle. Keeping that, bring the sole of the right foot either to that left inner shin or left inner thigh. Hands on hips. See that both hip bones point straight ahead. And now hug foot into leg, leg into foot. Keeping that root down through the standing leg, lift the ribs up, lift the inner armpits up, and now reach arms forward and up. Tree pose. Breathe. Notice as you find this moment of stillness on this second side, notice what moved. Keep the arms overhead, root down through the standing leg, and now remove the sole of the right foot from that left leg. Draw the right knee towards center. Take a full breath in. Exhale, bend that left knee with control. Step it back to crescent lunge. Lift the back of the right thigh up, and now tack the outer left hip back. Keeping that, bend a little deeper into that left knee. One more inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, touch the earth. Step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, bend the elbows wide, heart forward and down, chaturanga. Cobra, cobra dagger up dog. Keep those hands rooted, tops of the feet rooted. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deeper breath in, longer breath out. Inhale, reach right leg long, up and back. 
Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of that right hand. Right toes and kneecap point straight ahead. Place your left knee on the ground. Come up onto your fingertips and now bend the left knee, reach the left hand back to catch a hold of the outside of the left foot. Bend the left elbow. And see that the left side of the torso points straight ahead. Take the top of the left side bone back towards the left heel. So the left hip crease is deepening. That's plugging the thigh bone into the hip socket. Maintain that as best you can. And on the inhale, pull right foot and left knee towards each other. Hug right inner thigh into that right upper arm as you move the right upper arm back into the inner thigh. And exhale to push down into the four corners of that right foot, the space above the left kneecap to lift the right front hip bone up. Keeping that bend a bit more into that right knee. So as you bend that right knee, wherever you are, you should be above your left kneecap, more in the meteor part of the thigh. One more full breath in. Lift your shoulders in line with the base of the neck. And on the exhalation, take the shoulder blades more flat onto the upper back, take the sides of the throat back. Inhale to release your left foot. And on the exhale, heel toe your right foot a bit more to the midline, plant the hands on the ground. Inhale, reach the right leg straight up and back. Exhale, bend the right knee, open the right knee to the right. So as you open the right knee to the right, Notice how the weight's gonna shift a bit more towards that left hand and the left foot. Push evenly, so root down evenly through the hands and now lift both inner armpits up towards the ears. Keeping that, pivot to the outer blade of the left foot. Pause, just the outer blade and now pop up onto your right fingertips. That right knee is still in the sky. Push the left hand down and forward, push the right fingertips down and forward, inner armpits towards the ears. Keeping that. Draw the shoulder blades more flat onto the upper back. Lift the bottom hip, that left hip, up and back. Lift that outer right knee up. Inhale, slowly plant the right hand. Lift that left heel up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg straight up and back. Exhale, step left foot to the outside of the left hand. Left ankle underneath the left knee, put the right knee on the ground. Left toes point straight ahead. Pop up onto your fingertips, bend the right knee, reach the right hand back, catch a hold of the outside of the right foot, and bend that right elbow. Right side of the waistline points towards more towards the top of the mat. Take the top of the right thigh bone back, deepening that right hip crease, plugging the thigh bone in. Inhale to pull left foot and right knee towards each other. Hug left inner thigh and outer left arm, outer upper left arm in towards each other. Keeping that on the exhalation, push down into the four corners of the left foot, the space above that right kneecap to lift the left front hip bone up. Now, if you desire, bend the left knee a bit deeper. So you'll be on the meteor part of that right thigh. Big steady breath in, shoulders in line with the base of the neck. Slow, steady breath out. Shoulder blades more flat onto the upper back, side of the throat back. Inhale, gently release the right foot. And exhale, as you plant your hands, walk your left foot a bit more to the midline. Lift the right knee. Inhale, left leg up and back, down dog split. Exhale, bend the left knee, open the left knee to the left. Notice how, where the weight shifts, push the hands down and forward evenly. Lift the inner armpits up. Keeping that pivot to the outer blade of that right foot, come up onto the left fingertip. Left knee is still lifted. Push the right hand down and forward, push the left fingertips down and forward, inner armpits up. Keeping that, lift the outer, uh, excuse me, outer right hip up. Lift that outer left knee up. Inhale, plant the left hand, 
Come onto the ball mount of the right foot to lift that right heel. Exhale, step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank, claw the fingertips into the earth. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra, cobra dog or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch the right leg straight up and back. Exhale, pigeon. So the right knee is going to come as wide as your mat, the right side of the mat. Left knee in line with the left front hip bone. Keep the back toes tucked. And now lower the forearms to the earth. As you bring the forearms to the earth, set the elbows under the shoulders, interlace your hands, take the right thumb on top. Inhale to drag the knees towards each other. Feel how the, uh, the hips lift up away from the ground. Keeping that, exhale to push down into the outer right shin, the space above the left kneecap to lift the right front hip bone up. Maintain that as best you can and now lengthen the spine and stretch the heart forward and up. Keep the sides of your neck long. If you desire, you can walk the left knee back, tapping into the breath, letting it feed and inform all parts of you. Notice what you need, how you feel, and where you feel it. Press the outer wrist down so much so those little fingers might lift up off the earth. And now lift the left knee up off the earth, keeping that step right foot back to meet the left, feet are hip distance apart, forearm plank. Option to put your knees on the ground, right? Tapping into your self, recognizing what you need in the moment. On the inhale, energetically pull forearms back. Pull feet or knees forward. And keeping that, exhale to push down through the forearms. Lift the front hip bones up away from the tops of the thighs. So the front hip bones lift in the direction of the rib. Lengthen the spine and lift the chest forward and up. Big breath in. Steady breath out. Inhale, place the knees on the ground if they're lifted. Exhale, plant the hands, lift yourself up, tabletop, downward facing dog. Notice if there's a difference from side to side. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, pigeon. Left knee comes at least as wide as the outer hip maybe even as wide as the mat, right knee in line with the right front hip bone, back toe stay tough. Bring your forearms to the ground, interlace your hands, take the left thumb on top this time. Elbows under the shoulders. Inhale to drag the knees towards each other, feel the hips lift away from the ground. Keeping that exhale, push down through the legs, push the outer left shin down, the space above the right knee down, around the right kneecap down, to lift the left front hip bone up. Enjoy the space, lengthen the spine, lift the heart forward and up. Stay here, or if you wish, walk your right knee back. Deeper breath in. Longer breath out. Press the outer wrist down, press the forearms down. Lift the right knee up. Step the left foot back to meet the right forearm plank. Elbows under the shoulders. And as you press the outer wrist, outer forearms down, energetically drag the forearms back. As you drag the toes, maybe the knees forward. And keeping that, exhale to push down through the arms, lift the front hip bones towards the ribs, lengthen the spine, 
stretch the heart towards the top of the mat. One more steady breath in, breath out. Inhale, put the knees on the ground. Exhale, plant the hands, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale all the way down to the ground. Roll over onto your back. Bend the knees, put the feet on the earth. Step your feet back so the heels are underneath the knees. Toes point straight ahead, knees towards the sky. Bend the elbows, upper arms are on the ground, palms are facing each other, fingertips point towards the sky. Walk the shoulders up in line with the base of the neck. And now press the upper arms into the ground and as you keep the shoulders in line with the base of the neck, draw the shoulder blades more flat onto the upper back. And now let those ribs descend towards the earth. Take a breath in, pull the feet towards each other, feel the upper inner thighs tone. Keeping that on the exhalation, push down through your strong legs, lift your hips, bridge pose. Lightly press the back center of the skull into the earth, chin away from the chest. Breathe, big breath in, pull the feet towards each other. Breathe out, push down through the legs, lift those front hip bones in the direction of the ribs. Lengthen the spine and as you press your upper arms into the earth, back center into the earth, back center of the skull into the earth, lift the chest. Inhale, lower the hips back towards the ground. Exhale, release the hands to anywhere on the waistline. Step the feet as wide as the hip, knees knock in. Breathe, come back to the breath. Slow down the top of your next inhalation. And the bottom of the exhalation. One more. Bridge pose, feet parallel to one another, heels underneath knees, toes point straight ahead, bend the elbows, palms face each other, fingertips point towards the sky, shoulders in line with the base of the neck. And as you push your upper arms down, draw the shoulder blades together and let the bottom ribs descend, move towards the ground. Take a breath in, pull the feet towards each other. Breathe out to push down through the legs of the pelvis, hips, bridge pose, chin away from the chest. Back center of the skull continues to lightly press into the earth. On the inhale, feel your waistline fill front, back, side to side. Keeping that expansion from the inside out as best you can on the exhalation, Drive through the legs, press the back center of the skull into the earth, lift the chest. Inhale, lower. Exhale, release the hands to the waistline, step the feet as wide as the outer hips, let the knees knock in. Take a full breath in. Exhale, drop the knees to the right, turn the head to the right. Inhale, bring the knees back to center, turn the head back to center. Exhale, drop the knees to the left, turn the head to the left. Inhale, draw the knees back to center, plant the feet, turn the head back to center. And on the exhale, guide the knees in towards the chest, give yourself a squeeze. Inhale to roll over on towards, or onto the right side. <laughs> And on the exhale, press yourself up. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Take your time. There's no rush. As you come back to this downward facing dog, spread your fingers wide and evenly. Root the inner edges of the hands down. 
Claw the fingertips into the earth. Inhale to pull the hands to the midline, pull the feet to the midline. Keeping that on the exhalation, push down and forward into the hands, lift and stretch the hips up and back. Take the tops of the thigh bones back and soften the heels towards the earth. Inhale, reach right leg up and back, down dog split. Exhale, take the right knee to the upper outer right tricep and hold. Lift the top of the left thigh bone up. Tack the outer right hip back. And now lift outer right ankle, outer right shin, outer right knee up. Inhale, right leg up and back. You do it again. Exhale, right knee, upper outer right tricep. Lift the top of the left thigh bone up. Lift that outer right ankle, shin, and knee up. Inhale, right leg up and back. One more time. Exhale, right knee, upper outer right tricep. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, bend the right knee. Open the right knee to the right. So we've been here before. Pivot to the outer blade of the left foot. And as you do so, lift the outer left hip up towards the sky. And now pop up onto the right fingertip. From here, slowly push hand down and forward to step right foot up and over, coming into wild thing. Inner edge of the left hand ground. Push the left hand down and forward. Lift both inner armpits up and back, shoulder blades more flat onto the upper back. And as you do so, lean back, feel the left side of the rib cage move more towards the sky. Inhale, slowly unwind. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deeper breath in. Steady your breath out. Keep the hands grounded. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee, upper, outer, left tricep, and we hold right here. Breathe. Push down through the arms. Push down into the ball mound of the right foot to lift the top of the right thigh bone up. And as you do so, tack the outer left hip back and lift outer left shin or ankle, shin, and knee up. Inhale, leg up and back. Two more times. Exhale, left knee, upper, outer, left tricep. Lift the top of the right thigh bone up. Outer left ankle, shin, and knee up. Inhale, leg up and back. Exhale, left knee, upper outer left tricep. Inhale, leg up and back. Exhale, bend the left knee, open the knee to the left. Pivot to the outer blade of the right foot, pop up onto your left fingertip. Push both hands down and forward, lift that right hip up. And now slowly step left foot up and over. Wild thing. Press the inner edge of that right hand down, claw the fingertips into the earth, and as you push, right hand down and forward, inner armpits up and back, shoulder blades more flat onto the upper back. Keeping that lean back, right side of rib cage lift up. Inhale slow and control to unwind. Plant the left hand, step it back, downward facing dog. Come back to the breath. Let the breath feed and inform. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra, cobra, dogger, up dog. Reach back through the legs. Press down through the arms to lift up through the chest. Sides of the throat back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment as we find ourselves in our final down dog, at least for our time together today. Notice, does the down dog feel different? Inhale to plank. Exhale all the way down to the ground. Roll over onto your back. Bend the knees, put the feet on the earth. Step the feet 
frontal hip bone distance apart, heels underneath the knees, toes point straight ahead. Cross right ankle over top of left thigh. So supine pigeon, flex the right foot, hug right outer ankle and left thigh in towards each other. Notice that engagement that you feel. Keeping that wide in the outer right knee to the right. Option to stay here or pick your left foot up, bring your left shin parallel to the ground and now draw evenly the cross of the legs towards you. Take a hold of the back of the left thigh. So left hand, left arm comes around Left hand takes a hold of the back of the left thigh, right hand, right arm threads through the leg and takes a hold of the back of the left thigh. Keep the shoulders grounded. And as you hug outer right ankle and left thigh in towards each other, widen outer right knee to the right. Keeping that lift that right front hip bone up away from the top of the right thigh as you guide the legs a bit closer towards the body. Inhale to release the back of the left thigh, plant the left foot. And pause, keep the ankle on top, the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Stretch the arms out to a T. And then from here, bend your elbow, fingertips point towards the sky. Walk your left foot, one footprint to the left, and let the cross of the legs move to the right. And now turn your head to the right. So you're in this supine twist. Right outer ankle, left thigh, press down and lift up in towards each other. Keeping that press the upper arms, the elbows down to lift the right side of your rib cage up as you move the left side of the rib cage more towards the ground. Breathe. Inhale, come back to center. So turn the head back to center, bring the legs back to center, plant the left foot. And on the exhale, release the arms along by your sides or your hands can come to your rib cage. Place the right foot on the earth. Cross left ankle over top of right thigh, flex the left foot. Hug left ankle and right thigh in towards each other. Keeping that wide in the outer left knee to the left. Stay here or pick the right foot up, bring the right shin more parallel to the ground and slowly guide the cross of the legs evenly towards you as you take a hold of the back of the right thigh. So right hand to the outer, or to the back of the right thigh, left arm threads through the leg. Keep the shoulders grounded. Notice if the side is different. As you hug outer left ankle and right thigh in towards each other, continue to widen the outer left knee to the left. And keeping that lift the left front hip bone up away from the top of the left thigh. And if you wish, guide the legs a bit closer. Release the back of the right thigh, place the right foot on the ground, keep the cross of the legs. Reach the arms out to a T and then bend the elbow, fingertips point towards the sky. Walk the right foot, one foot print to the right. Let the cross of the legs drop to the left, turn the head to the left. So we're using our arms as leverage here. Press the arms down to lift the left side of the waistline, the left side of the rib cage up. Keeping that move the right side of the rib cage towards the ground. Breathe. Inhale, bring the cross of the legs back to center, plant the right foot, turn the head back to center. And on the exhale, release the arms along by the sides, uncross the left ankle, left foot on the earth. 
Feel the support of the ground beneath you. Come back to the breath. Inhale, draw the knees in towards the chest. And on the exhale, arms between the legs, reach for either the outer shins, outer ankles, or the outer edges of the feet for a happy baby. Wherever you are, flex the feet, spread the toes, and keep the shoulders grounded. Welcome to find any movement here. Release the shins, ankles, or outer edges of the feet. Place the feet back on the ground. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your low belly. Soften and close the eyes. Feel the beat of your heart. Notice the breath as it moves through you. On your next inhalation, stretch your right leg long. Stretch your left leg long. And on the exhale, feel the support of the earth beneath you. You can he keep your hands on your waistline or reach the arms along by your side. Let the teeth part, the tongue float away from the roof of the mouth. Slow down the top of your next inhalation. In the bottom of the exhalation. And for the remaining time, I invite you to give yourself permission to rest in Shavasana. And as you continue to remain still, with the eyes closed, look for the breath. Receive a deeper breath in, back and down. Release a longer breath up and out. Notice what you feel 
where you feel it. Honor any shifts, any changes that have occurred as a result of the physical practice. In your own time, stretch and move in any way that feels most appropriate. And in your own time, guide the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a very kind, loving embrace. Make your way over onto your right side. Slowly press yourself up. And take a comfortable seat. Keep the eyes and the features of the face soft. And on the currents of your next inhalation, bring your hands to meet together in front of your heart. A gesture here of self-reverence, self-respect, of self-love. And at the bottom of your next exhalation, bow your chin towards your chest. And as you take this opportunity to honor yourself, your practice, your efforts, and each other, it is with all of my heart that I honor all of you. Thank you so very much for your time, your energy, and your grace. Namaste. Thank you all so very much for your time, your energy, your effort. Be sure to tune in to the Be Empowered session, which is at noon today. And if you are interested in learning about myself and all of the amazing teachers that are participating in this event, Be Well Philly Fest, go to, and I'm just looking at my notes here to make sure that I have it correct. Go to the event microsite and visit the event directory and you'll find all of the information there. Thank you again. I'm so honored. Have the very best day and a great rest of your week. Thank you.